Of all of the AI tools that I was skeptical about this year coming out, Galileo AI was definitely on the top of that list. It promised to create a user interface from a prompt, just like ChatGPT does. But with how bad many of the AI images from a tool, even like Dolly, ended up being, it made me really skeptical that this could actually be applied practically in a sense that you could actually design user interfaces with it. As a matter of fact, a couple months ago, I actually went ahead and tried this to create my own user interfaces using ChatGPT. And at the time, the technology blew my mind. I was pretty excited with what the technology could actually do if given a bit more time. And Galileo was one that actually showed that you could simply type a prompt in and get a user interface generated. But it took a really, really long time to develop and I never really saw any sign of it actually doing something. They went silent on Twitter for months and there was no real updates. That was until earlier this year when I was proven completely wrong. In fact, yes, you can generate a prompt like ChatGPT and get a user interface out of it. And not only that, you get some basic rudimentary code to help you actually understand how it's all set up. And the final step, actually being able to take this and go and edit it in Figma. Now Galileo works exactly as promised. You type a prompt in and you get a user interface generated out of it. Let's say for example, that I wanted to create a gardening app. I just say gardening app about growing plants and hit generate. Galileo goes through and asks for some clarification before generating. Does it want plant database, gardening tips, my garden tracker? Let's say my garden tracker. Let's say this is for people who have no idea how to garden and they want to track the status of their plants. Not to mention that, it also asks for clarification along the road. It says, I've designed two variants for the My Garden Tracker screen. The first variant allows users to add new plants, mark growth stages, set reminders. The second has similar functionalities with a different layout representing a more visual representation of the plants and their respective care schedules. I'm gonna say, let's go with the first variant. In literally less than 30 seconds, a basic user interface is designed that I can go and look at. It says my garden. You're not going to be seeing a ward class user interfaces be designed with this. But the point is you can actually generate user interfaces using AI that never used to happen before. Most of the AI images I still see today have no comprehension on how to do text properly. In this case, it says my garden, water your plant, add fertilizer, lavender, rose, orchid. As a matter of fact, it shows the image of a person with a rose instead of actually just putting a full rose and the different stages that it's at. As much as it pains me to say it, I truly think there is a future for user interfaces generated by AI. Well, that's gonna replace some jobs. In the past, you would need a design firm or to hire some user interface designers to build your UI for your software from the ground up. Nowadays, if you have something like this and a very good front-end developer, you may not need that user interface designer anymore. Now for something like this, if you were to compare this user interface to the user interface that Dolly 3 designed, you know, however many months ago I actually went up and did that experiment. Now one of the reasons that ChatGPT has become as popular as it is, is because of the fact that interface means everything. As much as I talk about the fact that AI chatbots are not gonna replace people in their entirety, what they are gonna offer is a much more intuitive way to communicate your thoughts and feelings. And as crazy as it sounds, there are a lot of people out there who would just prefer, honestly, the ability to type in their thoughts, feelings relating to work, and specifically designing user interfaces into something like ChatGPT and having an interface bat out on it. And when it comes to building user interfaces for MVP, the minimum viable product of your app, basically the most simple version of your application before you even start any sort of development on it, this, this becomes the MVP. The ability to design high fidelity mockups for an application that you haven't written one line of code yet, all by simply typing in a few prompts? Are you kidding me? I mean, just think about it like this. In the past, user interface designers were hired on a freelance basis to design the user interface for a minimum viable product. If someone had an idea for a company and they wanted to go build it, specifically within the software space, they would hire a user interface designer either on a full-time basis or on a contract basis to come in, design the user interface, and then they would pass it off to the developers. That middle step isn't gonna be needed anymore with tools like this. The ability for a company to simply buy a subscription to Galileo AI and type into their heart's content what they want until they get something that they can then pass on to the front end developers. The ability to skip the step of user interface designers saves so much time because just as I'm saying, you skip the user interface designers. You skip the ability to have to tell someone your needs and for them to design the user interface for you. Front-end developers are used to getting user interfaces handed to them and told, okay, figure it out, build it. That's usually how it goes. But if that middle step is not needed anymore, you're gonna need to train front-end developers who know how to type in the correct prompts into a tool like Galileo AI. This changes everything pitch decks for venture capital firms. If you're pitching an app idea to a venture capital firm and you need to have some sort of visualization of what your app could look like, you don't need to hire anybody anymore. This tool exists in spite of tools like this. 
there are gonna be cases where, of course, you need to hire someone from the ground up, someone with the human touch. But the point isn't that we're gonna still be having user interface designers. It's that the capacity for how many user interface jobs are gonna be available on the market is gonna be significantly reduced. If there's anything that I've learned from my years as a software engineer doing the designing, coding, building, stakeholder management, all that, it's that convenience triumphs all. There is nothing that will survive more in this world than an app that introduces convenience. There have been many cases in the past for companies where they've said, hey, you know what? Our application is going to be the new big thing because it makes this just a little bit convenient only to be laughed off by their competitors. When, flash forward 10, 15, 20 years, they are now the dominant market player because of the fact that they understand that people will pay just a little bit more for that convenience. That's what the future looks like. And tools like this are just the beginning.